brief history of time. If you find any addition, any at all, I will be your friend, like, forever. What did you need? What's happening, darling? Any day you make it through is a victory in my book. of something else. Uh, yes, Captain. I do for you. Need some work done? Sure, how about it?
Retro's firing. Orbit stabilized. Drive spinning down. Systems green. Welcome to the Free Star Collective. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. That's all.
So lot 37. Nice to meet you. I'm Mr. Tate, and you have the look of a newcomer. Welcome to Aquila City. I don't suppose you're in the market for real estate. If so, then look no further. In the heart of the Freestar Collective, who wouldn't? I have two properties for sale. This one here is a refurbished colonial manor in the heart of the core. I also have a more modest one bedroom in Midtown. Any interest in them? It's my favorite listing I've had in years. Spacious, in the core itself. I took great pains to get all the approvals, so the neighbors should be no problem. It's historic and spacious. Oh my, so much space. And the price is a veritable bargain. The building there needs work, but it could make for a very good home. Any paperwork we need to file to clear it out? Is it zoned for commercial? <laughs> this isn't the use. A pleasure to see you again. It's my favorite listing I've had in years. I took great pain. It's historic. I can't say I'm surprised, but you do take care. They sure run things differently I than they used to. It's an unfurnished. It's a very. Con Are you interested? A shame. Well, we're still waiting. If you are ever looking to buy, it's my favorite listing I've had. I took great pains to get. It's historic. You have made my. I just know this manor will bring. I must warn you, man, that folk in Aquila are very particular about. Paperwork we need to file to clear it out. I'm the best realtor it in town. For commercial it's an unfurn. It's a very convenient. Are you interested? Excellent. Most. I wish you good fortune. This say, isn't the UC. Local. As long but as you're courteous to the neighbors, wins. do what you want. We're still waiting on the loan from you. I must warn you, ma'am, that Oak and Aquila are very particular. Capacity? Paperwork we need to file to clear. Put it out. Is it zone? My manner in the core. Use? Wait, before you go, 
My instinct says you're a person who knows how to work with their hands, or in this case, heavy equipment. Are you familiar with mining lasers? Excellent. There are so many in the stretch, living in terrible conditions. The Low House and I are working together to make cheap, affordable housing. But the land we want to build on has hard stone that needs to be cleared. And it truly is the best cause. Once you clear the land, we'll be one step closer to changing some lives for the better. <laughs> this isn't the UC. As long as you are courteous to the neighbors, do what you like. We're still waiting on the loan from Galvin. I must warn you, ma'am, that... In Aquila, are very particular. This is what we have seen. And they see our prices? People joke. Say those were room zealots worship. up there, huh? There's also my brother, but I wouldn't... People may say... A pleasure to see you again. But the bottom line I don't suppose this time you're... Wins. Marvelous. One step closer. I can't wait to tell Ms. Wolf. I know it's not much, but this is well earned.
where they get.
give it a shot. Okay, sounds good. why I bought the bottle of Pinot Noir. We're gonna celebrate 10 years together. No way. Talking again. If you have a new story for me, I'm very happy to pay your fee. What a sordid mess. We've got some other sources we've been interviewing, but I'd love to get your take on the record. So there was a mercenary company, the first, and they were involved in taking farmlands from Freestar Collective families. Extortion, death threats, murder, all of it. Is that right? Not going to say. I will never, ever give up my source. If anybody asks about you, they get the same answer. Good to know. So all of that? Terrible. But Ron Hope, the Ron Hope, was involved with it at the highest level. All of that suffering was a plot to save Hope Tech from going under using the side effects of a fertilizer he developed. Let me be blunt. 
The other sources say you killed Ron Hope. Is that correct? And all that money didn't help in the end. After all of that, the future of Hope Tech is an open question. Their stock has already taken a beating. Not sure if it's going to go into freefall. Any comment? That's a chilling thought. Thanks. If you listen to the news, you'll definitely hear this. And, uh... Maybe try not to ice any more CEOs. Just a thought. My source is back. Here to report anything else? I have a feeling we'll see each other again. Jump complete. Want to do it again, just for fun? No? Uh, maybe later. Ship is now docked. Perfect. Didn't even smell.
smush the paint. You got your cut. Now get out of my face. You said the tank was 10k, but it was 30. Big difference on 40% of 10 versus 30. You wanted 4k, you got 4k. Not my problem. If you're stealing from me, you bet your ass it's your problem. <gasps> you kidding me? Way to make a mess in front of my new rook. Hey, steal from me and get caught. Better off dead. Sounds like you did the fleet a favor. Now toss this body out of an airlock before it turns into a damn air freshener. The hell took you so long? Forget how to grab jump or something? Maybe for you. I'd rather shove a shotgun up my nose than remember the face of every low-life rook who passes through this station. But, all that aside, you made it. So now, you get to hear a nifty history lesson. Pencils ready? Good. This floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the Keep. Used to be an old UC military star station, and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. <laughs> you think? And that's only part of it. I'll let Delgado fill you in on the whole story. He tells it better anyway. But I can give you the short version while we walk the station. Anyway, I'll tell you all about the key. But it's better if I show you too. Follow me. All right, history time. So, the key is in orbit around Suvorov. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the Lock. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, Lock, key. Ah, uh, cute, huh? We've got everything the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction, you know. That thing I spend most of my day dealing with, believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aww. And you always, Angel. This here's Jasmine. You need anything for your ship, she's got you covered. We'll hit up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the lock. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, Neva. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Aludra. Anyway, welcome to the depot, Rook, where you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just whining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. <clears throat> Back to my story. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. 
Of course, Jasper Crix had a lot to do with all that, but uh, we'll get to him later. Rook, meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuro amps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, Neva. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way? Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. I hope On you came right, with credits. Got Bradley from the Trade Authority. I'm sure you know the deal there. He'll buy pretty much anything, no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Mizra. She'll patch you up, if you've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you don't? Know? Okay, this is our final stop. Over there, you've got the last Nova, where Bog serves watered-down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. And right here, is the most important place on the entire station. The Reckoner's Core, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new Rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Rake? I'm working on it, all right? I just ran into a few complications. But trust me, he's as good as dead. Hmm. So you say. We'll see about that. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. Pursuing Rake is costing us a small fortune. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, Yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. Glad you approve. Obviously betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind and a certain degree of safety. It's why he's the boss. Of course, I'm not the first Reckoner to bear a bomb under my ribcage, but Delgado was smart enough to continue the tradition. Now, let me get you set up. A moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications, even Dujin would envy. I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run-of-the-mill cyber runner. There. You're done. All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. None. Other than my chest and arm modifications, I am but a simple man. Is the interview over now? Can we get back to work? The perfect segue into my final subject. 
thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. Oh, you know, smuggling, piracy, taking things that aren't yours. Nothing that should keep you up at night. Well, depending on your methods. If Neva's chosen wisely, we certainly will. Now, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. Welcome.